السلام عليكم so recall last time that the pulse modulation controller is preferred over the hysteresis controller and in the hysteresis controller if we need to design the, the current control we only need to specify uh, the window uh, length which is the delta IA or the ripple in the current and this will end the design for the hysteresis uh, current control uh, however, for the the passport modulation, we need uh, uh, to find a mathematical model in order to design the current controller. So here we can write to design the PI uh, current controller. Uh, we need a linear relation uh, between the control signal which is the VC and the average uh, voltage of the tuber. So simply uh, if we uh, recall the the password modulation, here is the VC. Here we have the triangular. Now here we will have the gate pulse. And this is the VC that will go to the combination between the gate drive and the tuber, let's say. And the tuber will give the the machine the needed voltage via now we see we know that this one is coming from a, a PI controller so we need to model this one because we know that the the transfer function for the uh, the current control, let's say G C of S, can be written as K tau C S plus one over tau C S, and here we can add C here, where K C is the gain uh, of the uh, controller and tau c is the time constant of the controller and this also can be written as a kp plus ki over s and we know that kp is equal to kc and tau c is equal to kp over ki so <coughs> how we can model uh, the tuber with the let's say with the password modulation now if we recall generating the the gate pulse for the two quadrant tuber was based on comparing uh, the control signal with a triangular such that the the gate pulse will equal to 1 if vc is greater than or equal v triangular let's say and zero else if vc less than 
V triangle. So let's assume that this is the a triangular signal. So let's assume that this is the the triangular signal. And let's discuss the first case when VC is equal to minus V triangular. So this case. So let's say that in this case that BC is equal to minus V triangular or BC is hitting the, the bottom of the carrier. So this is the VC. Now in this case we know that Q will equal to zero with the time. So in this case, the gate pulse for the upper switch will equal to zero uh, all at the time. So this means that S1 is off all the time. And the T on of a switch one will equal to zero, which means that the duty cycle will equal to zero. So now if we need to plot this one here, if this is the duty cycle and this is the VC, when VC is equal to minus V a triangular, the duty cycle will equal to zero. Now let's assume that VC is equal to zero here. Let us assume now VC is equal to zero. That's not a perfect plot, but you can get in you can get the point. So case number two that VC is equal to zero. So in this case the gate pulse will equal to 1 for T triangular over 2 and 0 for the second half of the period. So this means that the duty cycle in this case is equal to 0 0.5. So VC equal to 0 this means that the duty cycle is equal to 0.5. Of course, for a linear relation, we can stop here, but let's continue. Let's assume that case number three. When VC is equal to V triangular, which means that VC is touching the the upper uh, the upper limit for the the triangular this case is VC is equal V triangular now in this case Q will equal to 1 all the time which means that D is equal to 1. So now when VC is equal to V triangular, this will become 1. Now we need to find the linear relation. So now we need to find uh, the, the following uh, relation. The linear relation. Now we know that uh, the linear relation can be described as here if we need to find the linear uh, relation 
so we can write as the duty cycle is equal to the slope multiplied by VC plus an offset now the slope now simply <coughs> now the slope this one so here we can find the slope which equal 1 over 2 V triangular which is Y over X and the offset simply when VC equal to 0 then the offset is equal to 0.5 and the offset we can find it, find it for example when VC equal to 0 so the slope is equal 1 over 2 V triangular so this will be the VC plus the offset when VC equal to 0 then D was equal to 0.5 so the offset is equal to 0.5 so this is the a linear relation between VC and the duty uh, cycle now we need to find a linear relation between VC and the average voltage so we know that VA is equal to D uh, VDC so this will equal to VC over 2V triangular uh, plus 0.5 multiply by V DC now this can be written as uh, the constant let's put it here V DC over 2 V triangular multiply by VC plus an offset which is 0.5 V DC if we taking the part that depend on VC the control signal and this in the end of the day we can add it so now KR will equal to VDC over 2 V triangular and this is the the gain for the two color chubar so this is the gain for the the two color chubar Now, what about the four quadrant chubar? Now, for the four quadrant chubar, let's recall if we plot it here. Let us assume the switch one, switch four, switch three, switch two, and each switch has a anti parallel dead. And here we having the the machine. This is the plus minus V DC. This switch number one. This switch number two. So this will be the D one. This will be the D two. This is the switch number three. This is the D three this switch number four and this is the d4 now let's assume that this is the positive sense of the voltage so va and this is the ia and we know that 
the two quadrants, the four quadrants, chuba, is actually decomposed of uh, or consists of two a quadrant, uh, chuba. So this will be. So we know that uh, the four quadrant chuba is actually consisting of two two quadrant chubars so this is the leg a and this actually the leg b and we need to uh, obtain the gate pulse for the leg a and the leg b now, if we recall that uh, when IA was positive, simply uh, S1 and S2 are on. In this case, VA is equal to VDC. Now, when the current free wheel uh, through the, for example, S2, uh, D4 in this case VA equal to 0 Now, when IA is negative, in this case, S3 and S4 are on. Uh, in this case, VA is equal to minus VDC. And when the current free wheel uh, through S4, D2, uh, VA equals zero. So simply, this means that in this case, VA uh, can swing between uh, VDC minus VDC or VDC and zero or zero and VDC. So VA uh, can uh, swing uh, between VDC and minus VDC or VDC and zero. Hereby, the meaning, the absolute value is VDC and zero. It can be between minus VDC, uh, between zero and minus VDC, or between VDC and zero according to the positive or negative voltage, uh, Q1 or Q2, or which quadrant we are operating. Now, <coughs> in general, we have two switching schemes. We need <laughs> to find the gate pulse for leg A and leg B uh, and in general we have uh, two switching uh, scheme The first one is the uh, the bipolar uh, switching. Uh, in which uh, the same control signal is used to generate the gate pulse for switch A and switch B. So simply here, if this is the 
I Air France minus I A the PI current control this is the BC uh, comparator with a carrier or triangular let's say and the same uh, gate pulse will generate the gate pulse for leg A and uh, the complement for that will be the gate pulse for leg B now by leg A <coughs> we mean here we are specifying the gate pulse for Q1 which equal to 1 if VC is greater than or equal V triangular and 0 if BC is less than V triangular and this will be the switch number 1 and for leg B that's 3 so this will decide Q3 in this case which is will be the complement so it will be 0 if VC is greater than or equal V triangular and 1 if VC is less than V triangular simply if we need to to plot the gate pulse here and let's assume that this is the the BC let's project the lines the intersection points And let's assume we are starting plotting from this side. Uh, let's re plot uh, the converter here. <coughs> this is the machine and this is the plus minus S1 S2 S3 and S4 now the plus is connected to S1 so if S1 is on the, the plus will be connected to the plus of the VDC So, from this point, from this point to this point, uh, VC less than triangular, so the S1 will equal to zero. If S1 is equal to zero, then uh, this means that VC is not connected to plus, so it will equal to zero. Uh, after that, it will be one then 0 and then 1 and so on this is the VA let's say plus which is identical to the uh, switch 1 switch 1 get pulse now for the VA minus this terminal So if we plot the the minus terminal which is this point which is connected to S3 so this will take the the shape of S3 gate pulse now when the BC is less than the carrier 
then uh, q3 is equal to 1 so this will be equal to vdc after that it will be 0 then uh, vdc then 0 then vdc which is the complement of this one now if we need to to find va va will equal va plus minus va minus this point minus this point if this point is a and this point is b then we know that v a b is v a minus v b now if we need to plot this one let's project the lines and let's plot it here <coughs> now the 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 first one here is 0 minus VDC is minus VDC so this is a minus VDC now VDC minus 0 is the VDC uh, 0 minus VDC is the minus VDC and so on so in this case as we see that VA uh, is a swing between VDC and minus VDC now we know that each leg is a 2 quarter bar so this is leg A and this is leg B so the duty cycle for each leg is the duty cycle for the the 2 quarter bar So here uh, we can write that each leg is uh, two quadrant bar. So simply this means that the duty cycle for uh, leg A. Uh, will equal to VC over 2 V triangular plus uh, 0.5 and we know that the DB will equal the complement so 1 minus uh, DA so if we need to calculate VA plus it will equal da multiply by vdc and if we need to calculate vb va minus uh, this will equal db multiply by vdc now if we need to calculate va which equal va uh, plus minus va minus we can plug this one here and this one here and simply we can uh, get uh, the following that VA will equal VA plus minus VA minus and this will equal DA V DC uh, minus 1 minus DA uh, V DC now if we plug and the play uh, this will equal to VC over uh, 2 V triangular plus uh, 0.5 minus uh, 1 minus or so this plus the VC over 2 V triangular uh, plus uh, 0.5 all multiplied by uh, V DC and this will end to be that 2 VC over 2 V triangular multiplied by V DC and this will equal V DC over V triangular multiplied by V C so this will be the the gain 
for the four quadrant to bar in case of the uh, bipolar uh, parchment relation. So this is the KR which will equal uh, VDC over V triangular. Now for the unipolar, of course it will be the same again, but for the for the unipolar uh, uh, pulse foot modulation switching, in this case we need two control signals. So each leg will generate its own uh, gate pulse according to its own control signal, but simply we have only one control signal which generated uh, from the, the current control so how that can be done so this is the uni uh, polar uh, pulse with modulation switching so in this case we need two control signal so let's assume that this is the reference current uh, this is the actual current Now here uh, we having the, the PI current control would generate the VC. Now we'll use this VC directly uh, in order to generate uh, the gate pulse for leg A, uh, which is switch 1. Now the complement for that will be the switch 2, leg A. For the unipolar, we need another control signal, so we are inverting this one because only we have one control signal. And here, we are comparing with the, the same carrier. And the same thing we will compare uh, the minus VC with the carrier and we will generate uh, the gate pulse for leg B switch 3 and the complement for that will be the leg B the lower switches, let's assume it's switch number 4. So here, mathematically, we can say that the Q of the leg A will equal to 1 if VC is greater than V triangular and 0 if VC is less than V triangular for the gating for the leg B it will be 1 if minus VC is greater than V triangular and 0 if V minus VC is less than V triangular so simply someone will say here we have uh, a control signal let's say VC1 here we'll have another control signal which is the VC2 so here we can say 1 and 1 and instead of this one we can write VC2 the same thing here VC2 which will be the same now if we try to uh, plot the waveform here so let's assume that this is the, the carrier Now let's assume that this is the VC. So let's assume that this is the, the the minus VC. So this will be uh, VC1, which will equal VC, and this will uh, VC2, which is the minus VC. So let's try to project uh, VC with the uh, with intersection point.
and also project the VC2 with the intersection point let's try start from here and let's try to, to plot the waveform let's assume that we are starting from let's assume we are starting from this point now we plot the first thing is VA plus and VA plus is connected to switch 1 which is VC1 so when VC1 from here to here less uh, than the uh, VC1 is less than the carrier so this will be uh, 0 between here and here is higher than the carrier so it's 1 then it will be 0 then 1 and so on now let's plot So now let's uh, plot the the VA minus the second terminal of the machine, which connected with S three, and this one is decided by VC two. Now the same thing here uh, from this point to this point less than so this will be the the zero from this point to this point vc2 higher than the carrier so this will be one then it will be zero then one then it will be zero and after that one so let's plot the VA which equal VA plus minus VA minus and for that let project the lines So now let's see, uh, this will be uh, 0 and the 0, so this will be the 0 here, and after that, uh, VA, VDC, minus uh, 0, so this is the 1, uh, 1, VDC minus VDC, 0, then 1, then 0, then 1, then zero then one then zero then one yeah. so simply here this means that in this case this zero is the VTC so in the unipolar a pulse modulation uh, VDC is swinging between v, uh, VA is swinging between 0 and VDC and this will put less stress on the switch so this is the, the first thing that we can um, note so we can not, uh, we, uh, we can note that so the first thing here we can notice is the VA is swing between zero and VDC. Now, if we need to find uh, the mathematical model or the real relations, uh, we know that each uh, leg is actually uh, a two quadrant chopper. So, simply this will be the uh, VA plus will equal um, DA 
multiplied by V DC and DA here is equal to uh, V C1 over 2 V triangular plus 0 0.5 uh, now VB which equal um, VA minus this will equal to DB VDC now DB here is equal VC2 over 2 V triangular plus 0 0.5 now VA will equal VA plus minus VA minus so this will equal DA V DC minus D B V D C and this will equal to V C one over two V triangular uh, plus uh, 0.5 all multiplied by V D C minus uh, V C two over two V triangular uh, plus uh, 0.5 multiplied by V D C now remember that VC1 is actually is VC and VC2 is minus VC so this in the end of the day will equal to uh, VC over V triangular multiplied by VDC so simply uh, the gain will equal VDC over V triangular multiplied by VC which is the, also the same again uh, for the uh, bipolar bus formulation which means that if you are using unipolar or bipolar the gain will never change uh, it will be the same uh, now also the the chopper has a time constant which is the tau r equal uh, 1 over 2 fc where fc is the carrier or the triangular uh, frequency so to this end Uh, whether you are using the unipolar or bipolar then uh, the transfer function for the converter will equal uh, kr over tau r s plus 1 where uh, kr is equal to uh, v dc over v triangular uh, whether you, you are using a unipolar or bipolar and uh, tau r will equal to 1 over 2 f the triangular now here we have a uh, two switching mode unipolar or bipolar uh, which one or what the difference between the two now if we compare the uh, bipolar and the unipolar a pulse modulation so here we can write the bipolar and here we can write the uni uh, polar and let's compare the first thing uh, for the bipolar we notice that the output voltage is a swing between VDC and minus VDC uh, however in the unipolar it's between VDC and zero so here uh, the output voltage Uh, swing uh, between uh, VDC minus VDC however here it's from uh, VDC and zero this will put less stress on the switch uh, the second thing we can notice that the out voltage frequency in the bipolar is uh, fixed by or equal the triangular frequency so this is the output uh, 
uh, voltage. frequency equal the frequency of the triangular or the carrier here the the output uh, voltage frequency is actually twice the triangular the last thing if we need to compare the current ripple uh, we know that the current ripple or the ripple in the current is actually proportional for VDC over the output frequency of the voltage so this means that for the the same F triangular and DDC the unipolar uh, gives better output voltage waveform which means that less ripple uh, also lower current ripple and better uh, frequency response so here we can write uh, for the same if we need to compare we need to fix the frequency of the triangular and the VDC then the unipolar Uh, gives the first one is better output uh, voltage waveform uh, the second thing is lower current triple and of course better frequency response so now this will end the design actually because uh, the design of the inner loop and the outer loop will follow the same uh, procedure as we did in the uh, controlled um, rectifier uh, finding a transfer function for all the components uh, the current sensor the speed sensor uh, the machine uh, after that um, uh, do approximation zero bus cancellations until we are getting a, a first order approximation for the inner loop then after that we are getting a second order approximation uh, for the outer loop then given a desired uh, damping ratio and natural frequency we can design uh, the controllers uh, for the inner and the outer loop so this will be the end of this chapter thank you